You might have heard about AI Assistant before, our AI plugin for PHP Storm and all other JetBrains IDEs. Just recently, we launched a pretty big update to AI Assistant, and I want to walk you through how to use it in PHP Storm so that you can be as productive as possible. So let's take a look and start with local AI completion. PHP Storm ships with local AI models out of the box. They are free, they are fully local and offline, and they are great at code completion. I find that the more I use them, the more they feel like PHP Storm's built-in auto-completion, but with even more insights and more advanced capabilities. And like I said, you don't have to do anything to get access to these models. They are built in and free with PHP Storm. Then there is cloud completion, which uses AI models in the cloud and can do even more. You'll have to enable it by clicking the AI assistant panel on the right and choose install plugin. If you ever need to deep dive into AI assistant settings, you can go to settings, tools, AI assistant and configure it there. You can also disable it entirely, if you want to, via the plugin settings. Now, once a plugin is enabled and you've logged in with your JetBrains account, you'll find a bunch of features in the AI Assistant panel. There's the chat, which you can use to ask questions. You can attach files, commits, and other information to fine tune your prompts. You can manage custom prompts as well. Choose which AI model you want to use. You can even plug in your own local models if you want to. There's web search available via the slash web command. And finally, there's the mode selector. This is a pretty important one and we'll take a closer look at it in a second. I've mentioned it before, one of our most impactful features is code completion and generation, which is powered by Mellum, our in-house LLM, specifically trained for code. AI Assistant will suggest single line completions, whole blobs of code. You can prompt it straight from within your code or use one of the built-in AI actions to generate documentation and even unit tests. Now let's take a closer look at the mode selector. By default, AI Assistant will be in chat mode, which means you can ask general programming questions. In chat mode, AI Assistant will not use any context-related data unless the code base button is toggled on. Then there's our new edit mode, currently in beta. In this mode, you can ask AI assistants to make changes across files in bulk. An important difference between edit mode and an AI agent like JetBrains Juni is that with edit mode, you will always have to review every change. It feels very similar to how you would refactor code. The good thing is that reviewing these changes is a breeze, thanks to PHP Storm's Div Viewer. Let's talk about context as well. The more context our AI models have, the more accurately they can generate answers for us. In edit mode, we'll do our best to determine which files should be attached automatically, but you can always fine tune the context as well. I've already shown you how to manually attach files and commits, but you can even attach window panels, symbols, or database references. All of this information will help AI assistants provide better answers. Not just that, but AI Assistant also gives you fine-grained control over the generated code. Like, for example, the ability to review code before adding it to your code base. So that's an overview of our updated AI Assistant. And in my experience, uh, the best way to truly learn it is to start using it. Local AI completion is free to use in PHP Storm, and you'll get cloud completion for free as well. You can read all about pricing on the page linked in the description so that you can start with AI Assistant today. Enjoy!